friends now i am today here with another program of matrix multiplication so let us go for the program this is the matrix a this one is matrix b and this is matrix c and showing the multiplication of the two matrix a and matrix b here now let us first of all understand the concept of matrix multiplication in matrix multiplication we are going from matrix a in a row wise and in a matrix b in a column wise so as to get the elements of the third matrix which is a multiplication of these two matrix so here c11 has a expression like this a11 multiply with the b11 plus a12 multiplied with b21 plus a13 multiplied with the b31 similarly this is expression for c12 is shown by these two arrows Similarly, the expression for the uh, C12 is coming by this uh, going the same way as we going for the uh, C11. Here it shows the expression for the C12. Similarly, expression for the C13 is like this way, going by these two arrow, multiplying their respective element and adding them. Similarly, the uh, now the expression for C1, C21 is coming by going this way. A21 multiplied with B11, A22 multiplied with B2, B21, and A23 multiplied with a B23. So now, so now let us go for the C program for matrix multiplication. Now, I've, this is a very simple program I have written for matrix multiplication. First of all, we are defining here the libraries. Then in main we are defining the program. Here um, I have defined the variables i, j, k and the three matrices matrix a matrix b matrix c of three by three matrices okay now i'm giving first command and insert the first matrix the user is inserting a first matrix so that and that matrix is stored with the first variable first matrix a similarly i'm asking user to insert a second matrix and then mat that matrix is stored in the second variable p by this kind of statement okay so now I am just doing these two things, extra, these kind of things extra here. That is, I am just cross checking what we have inserted is correct or not by showing this or the, the first matrix which we have inserted. This for loop is used for the showing the means showing the elements of the matrix A, I, comma J. Here for loop is running from zero to two, so J is also running from zero to two, so that it's showing their matrix element. Similarly, this is the second matrix, it also shows the same way. So, here comes the logic of our program that is the mat how the multiplication is done. See, here i equal to 0, suppose first i equal to 0, j also equal to 0, that time I am defining c0, c00 zero zero equal to 0, now k is becoming 0, so c00 <coughs> zero zero equal to a, c i 0, k is also 0, into b 0, 0 plus c00 this term is first uh, for first value this term is 0 and this way this is adding the value of the matrix shown here c here i have mentioned name here is 1 1 1 1 so let's let's make it 0 0 see here multiplying a 0 0 b 0 0 then it is multiplying a11 with a, with a b11 sorry a01 printing mistake here a01 with a b01 and here it is multiplying a a02 with a b21 this way the mul ma multiplication is going in this loop this is a very very important concept in is used for the matrix multiplication you should understand it first i am explaining it again and again let us consider for the first value i is 0 j is also 0 so c 0 0 i have assumed for the first time as a 0 then i am incrementing k from 0 to 1 to 2 okay so c c 0 0 element i am finding that is equal to a 0 i is 0 so a 0 comma 0 into b0 comma 0 into c0 this element i am assigning here as a 0 okay so this is no concern for the first value okay a0 0 and b0 0 is multiplied that is stored in a c0 0 when k is equal to 1 this c0 0 is coming again here okay so 
a zero one into b one zero is multiplied with the c zero zero, which is the previous multiplication of these two. Same way, it is stored again here, and the third variables are multiplied with the same way. It shows the output. Now here, I am using a printf statement to show the output of the multiplication. And these two for loops are used for showing the multiplication of the two matrices. Here I am using this print slash n statement so as to arrange the, the variables or the numbers in a matrix form. Similarly, this slash t and slash n are very important to arrange them in a matrix form. Okay, here also I have mentioned two point. Uh, here also print of slash n and slash t is very useful for showing them showing the matrix showing them in a matrix form okay okay now we are, run. we are going for the run here we are running so now i am inserting a first matrix as a 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 oh it's showing some error because I have for for the first time i have made their mistake so i'm again uh, running it again and again 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 Inserting second matrix 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here, see, here showing the first matrix as a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Second matrix as a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And the multiplication of the third matrix. Let's go in by the same way which I am mentioning, which I output, which logic I am mentioning here. See, going this way and this way. So here I am, I made one mistake again. It should be 0, 1. Oh no, it should be. Yeah, one one no mistake. Here here it should be modified for these these elements should be modified B one one B one two and here also these respective elements should be modified. I am not modifying that. You should do it at your own. So this is how the matrix multiplication is going on. This program I will insert on my block spot. So if you want its code, so please visit my block spot. Uh, www dot get my blocks what is name from get help for you dot blogger dot com somewhat it's like that so please do this thank you very much please subscribe and please like the video thank you very much